So here I am, somewhat recovered from yesterday's drama, but I was not as bad as Maradona, who needed to be attended by paramedics. But I guess he is feeling much better too. Um, I'm wearing my Argentina jersey, feeling a little bit dirty about it, but yeah. They're my team at this World Cup after Peru, and they're in my big three of teams that I always root for at the World Cup, and the only one left that I have. So for that reason I'm wearing Argentina somewhat proudly, but also feeling a little bit dirty about it. I also ran calculations, and yeah, there were not too many changes, but one big one, Argentina is now in, and let's see what impact that will have. Let's start at the group stage where groups A to D are all decided, and of course this already gives an idea about the next matchups we have, of course, here we have Portugal, Spain, Russia, France, Argentina, Croatia, Denmark. And Group E, uh, very little movement here. Um, yes, some ratings slightly changed because the ratings of the teams above changed. So this has some slight impact, but nothing really uh, big. Of course, we will have Groups E and Group F uh, decided today. But let's go right to it. The big one is now that Argentina is here and that limit France a lot. And we will see this just in a second when I scroll up. Uh, in the World Cup chance, a uh, World Cup winning probability. So um, France now has a quite tough road, I would say. Argentina, Portugal, or Uruguay, Brazil. Yeah, uh, at least rating wise, maybe France likes their matchup against Argentina. Um, again, I am wondering if Messi isn't pulling a Zidane or a Baggio. Uh, by taking a team that uh, barely made it off the group stage, that was not much heralded, but has a superstar, and takes it all the way to the final. Uh, below, of course, there are next to no changes, because uh, Denmark was already penciled in from before. So let's go to the World Cup winning probabilities. Um, again, uh, most changes are here on the bottom. Here I sort the teams that are already disqualified by their current points and goal difference. So that's why Iran is ahead of Peru, ahead of Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, and so on. Um, don't pay much attention to uh, the changes here. It's just that's how I um, rank the teams. Brazil. Brazil dropped here in the winning probability because now we have Argentina in there, in the way of Brazil, in a way. Um, so, and Argentina is still a highly rated team, at least in all the calculations and ratings that you can see. So that definitely has an impact. Uh, it has a severe impact on France. Uh, yesterday we had France well over 10%. Now they're only 8% because they have a direct duel with Argentina. And then they have to play Portugal or Uruguay. So um, not an easy path as we've seen already. Um, Uruguay, of course, dropped because of that too. Uh, Croatia dropped because Argentina was rising so much, because Argentina was out, now they're in the picture again. If Argentina would have been smoothly sailing and now messed up something to make second place, they would have been dropping. It's the rating of Argentina is that high. But other than that, uh, we see Denmark had, uh, is flip-flopping with Mexico now. I don't that not much really changed and um, unless Germany crashes out today I don't expect much changes here either or if Brazil decides they don't want to play Germany and rather be in the lower half. Uh, just to see the situation again, uh, at the moment if Germany is second Brazil, Brazil first, uh, Brazil will have to play Germany. Um, I could imagine, I think Brazil needs just a draw to qualify and maybe if Switzerland Switzerland uh, needs to get a result from Costa Rica just to make sure. So um, in that sense, there is a potential slight chance. And you see, I'm very hypothetical that Brazil could end up in second place. They have it a little bit under control, but they cannot lose. And this is the dangerous. If they lose, Serbia is through. And then it depends all on how Switzerland is playing Costa Rica. But if Brazil would get the chance, and they would land in this spot here. And I think Brazil would like that spot better. Um, let's say Germany makes a miracle and Germany goes here and everything is a whole lot more uh, even. Uh, at this point, I would also see that Germany will go all the way through to the final, uh, at least in my projections. 
So uh, a lot of how the World Cup will pan out will hinge on today's results. First of all, whether Germany will qualify and then will they be in second spot and Brazil in first spot. Uh, if Mexico gets the draw, Germany can only become second. So it goes as far as that. Before I finish up, this has not calculation related now, but I wanted to show yesterday we were talking, I was talking about in uh, my car video of how we've seen now all uh, teams, I think it's the car video in Group C, and really uh, all the bold shirts we have already seen in one form or another, so all in Group A, all in Group B, uh, we have even seen this one, I really have no nice pictures, so they already have way. Um, I have to make this these two bold. We have seen this. Uh, I bolded even the red Iceland kit because the goalkeeper wore it yesterday, so therefore uh, it is there. But I made it uh, slanted, but it was worn. Um, and the only ones where I don't uh, is the Germany away, and will be the Poland and the Japan. I don't expect them to be worn, but again, FIFA will surprise me. Uh, it could well be that they say play the away kit. Maybe if Japan decides they want to market their away kit, it could happen. Uh, the numbers here, of course, are my ratings. So um, if you go Group F today, Germany is playing away to South Korea. I don't see Germany playing in anything but white. This is the logical matchup white against red. But hey, again. Uh, we have been throwing some curveballs. Uh, just go in there. I was actually... Yes, this is my group F. Yeah, I have Korea against Germany. Uh, the 95% say that I see a slight chance that the green might be worn, but not really. 99 means basically I'm certain that it will be worn that way. Well, let me know what you think about my projections. Uh, what do you expect? of today's games. I think today is the make or break for the World Cup um, of how the bracket will turn out. Will there be one easy part and one hard part? So I will talk to you very soon, the latest after Group F finished. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.